The Las Vegas Raiders final injury report is officially out. And we got some very interesting news. Um, Alex Bars, the Raiders starting right guard, and Rocky Sin, the starting cornerback, have both been listed as out. We got a couple guys questionable. But it's going to be very interesting, in my opinion, what the Raiders end up doing on the offensive line. Uh, first and foremost, the Raiders don't have a ton of options to fill in at that right guard spot. As we saw last week, John Simpson came in, had a terrible game, ended up getting cut. That's how bad it was. And the O-line really, really, really struggled this past week against the Rams. That, too, was a banged-up Rams defense. And they still beat our offense they line up, right? They basically beat us up. Uh, but this week is going to be interesting. Obviously, we had the entire week to kind of prep. Um, I'm sure the Raiders are going to come out with some different combination. Um, I actually found out Alex Bars will not be playing just a couple hours ago. Um, and it's official now, right? The injury report is officially out. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly who's going to start for the Raiders. I'm sure I will sooner rather than later. Uh, but if I had to guess, I would say it'd be some sort of combination of either Jermaine Loomer kicking to right guard um, and Thayer Munford starting at right tackle. Although I think that's the less likely scenario. I don't think Thayer Munford against Matthew Judon is going to be a good battle. Um, I think the more likely scenario would be to take Dylan Parham from left guard move him over to right guard and have either Jackson Barton start at left guard or have Natane Moody coming at left guard. Um, it's going to be very interesting because Moody just joined the team, but he probably has the most upside among uh, some of the guards. Jackson Barton's been here for a while and he was pretty good in, in preseason. So for the Raiders, it's going to be very interesting how they end up shaping up the offense line to go up against Patriots. Uh, the Patriots defense line is very, very, very good. Uh, arguably a top five defensive line. They got multiple guys that can get after the quarterback. Um, obviously, they will be without Christian Barmore, who, in my opinion, is their best defensive lineman, uh, which does benefit the Raiders. Um, but it's going to be interesting because the Patriots are in a must-win game. Uh, they're seven and six right now, and they want to be eight and six and be in the spot for that wild card spot, right? They don't want to be on the outside looking in. So for them, this is arguably their biggest game of the season, right? They got to get through the Raiders. Um, and we're going to talk about it a little bit more. Um, I mentioned the offense line is going to kind of be all over the place. Um, even our linebackers are going to be interesting. Denzel Perryman has a hip injury. He was limited. Um, and then in the secondary, we have Rocky Sin, who's already out, and Sam Webb, who is um, likely going to play, right? He practiced in full. He should be good to go. Um, but he's still dealing with the knee injury, right? So that could impact him as well when the game kind of rolls around. Um, so for the Raiders, it's going to be very, very interesting. And of course, for the Patriots, um, they have some injuries as well. Obviously, Devontae Parker is out. Uh, Isaiah Wynn is out. Wynn doesn't start. So I don't know how much that's going to impact them. But Wynn has played right tackle, left tackle, left guard as well. So Wynn's kind of the guy that goes and plays all the different positions when needed. Um, and then their corner, Jalen Mills, starting corner, is, will also be out. So it's going to be very interesting with all the injuries kind of piling up this late into the season. Um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the individual matchup. Let's talk about the actual game. Uh, I think for the Raiders, the biggest thing is going to be to stop the Patriots run. Um, I watch Patriots film a lot, right? I've watched them for my second YouTube channel. And the New England Patriots run game is basically like the Raiders run game. Uh, crack tosses, ISO runs. Um, basically, it's a power scheme and they'll mix in some inside and outside zone as well. But it's a primarily a power scheme and they're good. Like up front, their O-line is very, very, very good. Um, Connor McDermott ended up starting at right tackle for him over the past couple uh, weeks. Um, and he just came from the Jets practice squad. So I expect him to once again start at right tackle. Uh, next to him, he has Mike Inwanu, uh, David Andrews, the center, the rookie left guard, Cole Strange, and Trent Brown at left tackle. We all know Trent Brown. Um, so it's going to be interesting how that offensive line handles the Raiders defensive line because the Raiders defensive line has stepped up recently. Guys like Jerry Tillery have been getting after it. Chandler Jones has been getting after it. Uh, Max Crosby is just a very, very good football player. And it's interesting because Isaiah Wynn is likely out, uh, which means or he is out. And then Connor McDermott, who's going to start at right tackle, he's a good football player. Don't get me wrong. But is he as good as Max Crosby? Probably not. I think Crosby should be able to have his way uh, with that right tackle. So the Raiders defense line should theoretically have a really good game. Um, obviously, the D line has been good for the Raiders. This is the week they got to really step up. Uh, Mac Jones isn't great, but he's good. Right, Mac Jones is a very solid quarterback, very good footwork. Um, 
Obviously, Josh McDaniels knows Mac Jones, right? He drafted him, really handpicked him to be like the guy of the future. And then obviously, Josh McDaniels left the Patriots, came to the Raiders. Um, but then even then, the receivers for the Patriots are banged up. Um, again, I think it's going to really come down to the Raiders O-line versus their D-line and then Raiders D-line versus their O-line. I think the battle of the trenches is going to be massive. Obviously, the Patriots are very, very well coached on the defensive side. So I'm excited to watch Derek Carr and how he kind of handles the Patriots defense. Um, I think the Patriots defense being one of the teams that really, really takes advantage of opposing quarterbacks. From a scheme perspective, they really know how to attack quarterbacks. Um but the defense is limited in my opinion, right? This isn't the best defense from a player's perspective. Although the front seven is much stronger than in the past years, um, if Derek Carr plays a good game, the Raiders should be able to win. Uh, I think the Patriots defense is good in terms of forcing turnovers, getting after the quarterback. But if the O-line, the opposing O-line is able to stop the D-line, which the Raiders O-line should theoretically be able to, I think the back end is going to struggle for the Patriots. Um, obviously, they got Jonathan Jones. They got um, a couple other really good cornerbacks. Marcus Jones, a rookie. The Raiders actually brought him in and worked him out. Really good punt and kick returner as well. Um, they have some guys. They have some guys that can kind of mix and match. They do a lot of different things from a scheme perspective. So it's going to be a very interesting battle. I can't wait to watch this game. In fact, I'm going to go live this Sunday. And I know I've said that in the past, but this Sunday for sure I will be live. So make sure you guys tune in and, and, and watch the game with me, man. We'll be live. We'll just check, ch hang out. Uh, chatting it up, all that good stuff. So it's going to be interesting. Um, again, I'm very excited for this game, man. I'm fired up. Uh, one of the things that I think is underrated that a lot of people aren't going to be talking about is going to be uh, the linebackers of the Patriots. Um, not a lot of big name guys, right? Jawan Bentley, uh, Jelani Tavai, I think that's how you say his name, Mac Wilson, the guy they traded for with the Browns. Um, and then Raquan McMillan, a guy that was with the Raiders, I believe two years ago. Uh, I think we got him from the Dolphins, uh, but he had spent time previously with the Patriots as well. And then now he kind of went back there. He's having a great year. I, I watched some of his tape. He's doing a lot of really good things. He's really just a situational guy. Um, but the Patriots linebackers, in my opinion, are the smartest group of linebackers in the NFL. Uh, I think, and then I, I, I believe this, I think linebackers, generally speaking, don't matter as much as your pass rush and as your coverage, but... I think having bad linebackers can impact those two things in a negative way. And having great, smart linebackers can benefit both of those things. And I think that's the thing with the Patriots. I think those linebackers really, really do a great job. So I think for the Raiders, we're going to have to figure it out. Like, we've got to run the football well. And then we got to be able to play action and get those linebackers thinking. I saw a statistic today that the Raiders are the second least team that motions pre-snap. I think the Raiders need to pre-snap uh, pre motion more this game. I almost feel like Josh McDaniels has, you know, kind of hidden what he's going to do on the offensive side. And I think he's going to come in with that game plan this week that we're going to do some motions. We're going to do different things. We're going to get it going. And I think that's going to benefit the Raiders. Now, obviously, it's going to, at the end of the day, come down to Derek Carr. And can Derek Carr get it done? Um, I think the last time we played the Patriots, Derek Carr didn't have that good of a game. I think he fumbled once. Uh, and it was a close game, I think, initially. And then towards the end of the game, their car fumbled in the end zone. I think he threw another interception or had a turnover on down or something like that. Uh, and then the game kind of ended in like a blowout in terms of the score. But I think the game was much closer. I do think that team was probably better than the team now on the offensive side. But I think on the defense side, this team's probably better. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the Raiders attack this roster, attack this team. Um, I'm fired up, man. I'm very fired up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think the Raiders offensive line is going to look like? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.